Today I'm going to show you how to, from the command line, install uh, Slitaz to a USB flash drive or hard drive. Uh, we're going to type in, uh, we're going to log in as root, and default password is root. And uh, I'm uh, booting off the uh, base text mode CD of Slitaz, which is an 8 megabyte ISO. Uh, first thing we need to do is find our flash drive or hard drive that we want to install to. Uh, and we're going to go F disk to dash L to list all uh, hard drives. And you can see I've got one hard drive with uh, currently four partitions. We're just going to use this first partition, HDA1, to uh, install to. They'll, we'll say that that is my USB flash drive. Make sure that you choose the proper device and partition because this will erase whatever is on the partition. Uh, or flash drive. So back up and make sure you choose the correct option. Uh, next thing we're going to do is um, that hard drive is already formatted, but just to uh, go with the tutorial in case it's not formatted, we'll use TAS USB format. Now you can also uh, use F disk if you watched my previous tutorial to format it, but TAS USB with the uh, switch of format allows you to do this. And we're going to say device HDA1. And uh, it gives you options of EXT2, EXT3, FAT32, depending on your situation and your preference. Pick whichever one you want. Default is EXT3. I'll choose that. And here you can label the uh, name of the drive. By default, it's TAS USB. I'm going to call this one Metal uh, USB. And uh, I'll hit Enter. And it is formatting labeling and done already. Um, and now we are going to use TAS USB again to install. We're going to use Gen for Generate Live USB. Whoops. Live USB. And once again we're going to point it to our device with the partition of one. So uh, in my case, device HDA1. Once again, make sure you're choosing the proper partition so that you don't lose any data. I'll hit enter there, and you can see it doesn't take very long at all. Boom, it's done. It's installed. We can exit and continue working in the live CD by hitting enter, or we can type reboot at this point, and we can reboot. And upon reboot, uh, you have to figure out on your computer what is the proper key to press to choose a boot device, or going to your settings and set your USB drive to be the first device. So I'm going to choose the proper device there. And you can see you get your boot screen just like you would if you were booting off a CD. But we are now currently booting off a USB flash drive. Give it a second here to boot. And at least on the first boot, it will ask us, I believe, uh, our language and keyboard mapping. But I'll show you in a moment how to save some settings and file changes you make back to the USB drive. So I'm English for me and USB for my key or USB USA for my keyboard. And I'm gonna once again log in as root, root. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use TAS package, which I've shown in previous tutorials, and I'm going to recharge my list, which will get the latest list of available applications for Slitaz from the server and list of servers and then I can use TAS package and I'm going to get and I'm going to install Nmap which is a great networking tool for scanning your network. It's going to install some uh, dependencies there and should be about done. There we go. So now I have Nmap installed. I can Nmap my local host although I shouldn't have any ports open which I don't. Um, but at this point, if you were to reboot, you would lose Nmap or any other changes you made, just as though you were booting from a CD. But since you're booting from a USB flash drive, you can save your settings. And the way we do that is we type in TAS USB write FS for write file system. And now uh, you're going to give it an option of how you want to compress it. I'm just going to use the default, or, or not the default, but Gunzip is a good option. So, or not Gunzip, Gzip. Um, so, Taz USB, write FS, Gzip. And here's going to ask do you want to remove your sound card selection? Default is no. Uh, screen resolution, 
uh, no, uh, but you can remove them depending on how you're going to be using this USB drive. Now, and is creating a new root file system that is going to be zipped up with gzip. And uh, now you can go without compressing it, but you'll get a larger uh, file size. Um, so if you're concerned about space, I would suggest compressing. And uh, uh, gzip is a great way to go. Uh, now we can hit enter to continue. So now our settings have been backed up. Now we can reboot. Now if we didn't do that and we just rebooted, we would lose Nmap or any other changes we make. And you have to do that every time you want to save your settings. So that's kind of a great that you can work in the environment. And let me choose the proper drive. Um, you can be playing and make all these changes, but you know that you can't screw it up. You can reboot at any point and be back how you were. But if you like the changes you make, you run that TAS USB write file system uh, gzip and it will save the changes you make. So you can, well since we're running uh, in text mode, one of the things you can use this for is a uh, as a server, so you can install Apache or an FTP server and you can put it on a flash drive and you have a portable server with you now. You take your USB flash drive out, plug it into pretty much any computer that was made in the last five or six years. Before that, it's hit or miss that it can boot from USB. That's just uh, depending on your motherboard options. Um, but any new computer, you plug in your flash drive, you boot from it, and you got your server set up on that machine. I'm going to log in as root. And I can show you that we've got Nmap still installed. So that is creating a bootable USB flash drive with your own uh, Slitaz on there and saving your settings to that so you can have your own custom server or whatever you want on a USB flash drive you can take with you anywhere. Thanks for watching this tutorial and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this and have a great day.